stuff. Now, let's bring in our special guest for more on the gold rush. Joining us now is Texas Republican Congressman, presidential hopeful Ron Paul. Congressman Paul, as always, welcome back. You know, this gold, rush you. this gold rush continues to explode. And I know from a bunch of reports, you yourself have been a longtime investor in gold. Why right. is this happening? Right now, what's your take? Why the gold rush? Well, I, I never think about the price of gold. I always think about the value of the dollar. Traditionally, for thousands of years, the currencies have been measured uh, by gold, the value of gold to the currency. And I got fascinated in 1971 when the last uh, link to gold was severed and we devalued. Uh, we went from 35 to 38, and then two years later we went up to $42. And that is when I decided there was no limits on spending and that we were introducing a new era into the history of economics because we were issuing paper money and we could spend that around the world. And there's been a lot of fiat currencies throughout history, but never one like we have today. And that's what people are discovering, the financial crisis is discovering this and this is why they're not coming up with any answers the bubble was just too big it, and they won't allow the bubble to be liquidated and it, have debt liquidated is it fair to say that there's more money creating by the fed and other central banks in europe and japan and elsewhere than ever more is there a link between the shooting up of gold and all this monetary pump priming mr paul absolutely related because they're debasing the currency they want to do this uh, to liquidate the debt. They know we can't work our way out of it because the debt has reached a limit where you can't work your way out of it. So the debt has to be liquidated, but you know that we will never not send the checks out and pay for the treasury bills and take care of our foreign investors into our, our treasury bills and our bonds. So they have to liquidate the debt by devaluing the currency. So if you can get a 50% inflation rate over a period of time, you've gotten rid of $7 trillion worth of debt. Mm. They're purposely doing this, and I've gotten Bernanke almost virtually admitting this you know and they know they know what they're doing uh, but they think it's necessary even if it hurts the savers the people who have CDs and they don't make anything debasing the currency is the only tool they have and they're pursuing it right now with a vengeance can I just shift gears slightly although it's a related issue speaking of money growth and speaking of spending look FEMA can we just talk FEMA for a second you've got this sure. hurricane Irene FEMA's out of money there's going to be huge demands for FEMA flood disaster insurance and for making the help in the roads governor Chris Christie of New Jersey has already thrown out a 10 billion dollar number for repair I don't know whether he thinks it's all gonna come from FEMA should it come from FEMA should Congress replenish FEMA's depleting coffers well, well, who's FEMA? Uh, I mean, it's the people, it's the taxpayers. Do we want to go for the question is, do we want to go further into debt to bail out the people that we encourage to build in dangerous places? The whole program is wrong. They've distorted completely the concept of, uh, of insurance. Uh, it wasn't insur insurance is supposed to measure risk. Instead, we guaranteed that if you did risky things, we would bail you out regardless. And uh, the uh, flood program, insurance program it's bankrupt I think it's around 20 billion dollars in debt so it's just another program but FEMA happens to be one of the worst there's no other program or bureaucracy that I had to deal with in Congress that I got more complaints for than FEMA people really don't like it and I've never supported this and I live on a coastal district I've gone through these hurricanes we go to bath for the constituents because they've been told you know get into programs and we'll bail you out but they don't get bailed out all they get is an invasion uh, of, uh, of, uh, of national people, you know, oh. the bureaucrats coming in and interfering, yes. and it's, but what uh, happens? it's a disaster yeah. they create. Well, what happens? You know there's going to be a call, a cry, a hue and cry. More disaster relief, whether it's FEMA or not FEMA. Let's spend a right. lot of money to bail out Hurricane Irene, which was very difficult in many places here on the East Coast. What is your response right. to that? There's going to be a call for emergency spending. Right. And there's one way I would actually vote for it, and I proposed this when uh, the hurricanes hit Texas. I said, I'm not going to vote for it because there's no money and, and it's a bad program. But if you cut a billion dollars or two billion dollars out of a program overseas,
policies that just gets us into trouble, put half of it toward a deficit. I will vote to put the mm -hmm. other half into a domestic program that needs to be saved. So if they have this crisis and we could cut a billion dollars out of our debt and spend a billion dollars here or whatever, do it. All but right. we just can't keep printing the money and running up the debt. That's how we got in this trouble. So I have refused to do that for the ever since 1971, since I've been in Congress. Right. So I'm not likely to change my opinion on that. I hear you. Amen. Congressman Ron Paul, thank you very much, sir. As always, a programming note for tomorrow night, by the way. A very